amazed. We are young, we run green, Adventure, double the fun in Home Farm Twins tomorrow at 20 past four on CBBC One. <laughs> Rick Adams from It'll Never Work is coming in later. Oh, yes, he don't know nothing. I know all about science. My name is Professor Flopsy. Yeah, Professor Flopsy Tash. <laughs> You're just jealous of my style. No way. It's <laughs> so just Sora, get a pen and paper ready. We'll give you their address after the show. Yes, we will. Thank In you. a land far, far away, but not so far away, there lives a merry king who rules over a kingdom of much jollity and mirth, aided by his jovial jesters, see and saw. But today, the king is weathering the rain. <laughs> Welcome to See It, Saw It, the programme that's broadcast to you from this very spot here. Oh, here! Yeah. <laughs> In much jollity on the mirth. I'm the King, and I'm feeling rather breezy and bright today, so you can call me your Royal Sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> there you see, see? Hello! <laughs> and there you saw... Saw. Yes, uh... right. As ever, my court is packed with right royal jovial jesters. Good afternoon, jesters! Good afternoon! <laughs> now, you lot are going to have to help me because I'm not very good at making decisions. When it comes to decision making, I'm completely pants. Or is it trousers? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't decide. Anyhow, let's play See It, Saw It. Yes, sire. From now on, you have to watch everything very carefully. Yes, you at home too have to watch everything very carefully because we're watching you. And from time to time during the programme, I'll be asking questions. All you have to do is write down the first letter of the answer you think is correct, and by the end of the programme, you'll have enough letters to make a four-letter word. Hmm. Such <laughs> as yourself. What? What are you talking about? You are a four-letter word, Your Majesty. <laughs> you is one letter. Uh, king! It's a four-letter word. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, yeah, well, write it down. Could be this week's answer. I doubt it, Your Majesty. <laughs> Anyhow, what was last week's answer? The word was boot. Bradley, offside, otto and thistle. Boot. Oh, that's a great word, isn't it? The sort of word you can keep shouting over and over again until someone threw a bucket of cold water over you. <laughs> oh, ah, oh. oh, dear. Yes. The Lord High Chamberlain. How lovely to see you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Yes, 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 yes. Careful, careful. Oh, dear. Oh, oh please, you. Stop doing that. I've just walked 15 miles through mud, water and rain to collect this parcel from the front door. I think it's time you got the roofers in. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it's a you. parcel from your uncle Neville. Do you have to shout? Oh. Oh. What is it all about? I haven't read it. Give it here. <laughs> My uncle Neville. Oh, well, thank you very much, Lord High Chamberlain. You yes. can go now. Go now. I'm yes, going now, Your Majesty. Go on. I just go around here. I was, I was, yes, I just... just... Go Disappear! Going, just, just move! I'm moving! I'm just moving! <laughs> right. oh. I can't move any. Yeah. I I'll just have a little. I wonder what it is. Yeah. Isn't your Uncle Neville the really boring one? There's a note as well. Look here, I'll read that. See what it says. Yeah, that's interesting. What is it? Mm -hmm. Dear King, I was just clearing out my storage shed and sorting out long brown wooden things for ladies. Uh, get on with it. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Auntie Marjorie sends her love. Oh. Yeah, how wonderful. <laughs> Lovely caravanning holiday in Cromer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we are. 
So I thought you might find this barometer useful. Barometer? What do you do with it? You play it? You pluck it? What do you do? No, I don't think it's a musical instrument, sire. Well, what is it then? Um, oh, oh, it's sort of a handy device for telling what the weather's going to be like. Oh, what? You mean you sort of lick it and stick it in the air like that? Uh, oh dear. Looks like more rain. Why, oh why is it raining when I've only just put the washing outside? It was bright sunshine a moment ago. Mummy? Yes? Where does the rain come from, Mummy? Oh, I don't know. It always seems to rain on Mondays, darn it. But where does the rain come from, Mummy? Um, well, from the clouds, Cyril. Look at these, they're not dry at all. What are the clouds made of, Mummy? Well, the clouds, they're made of water vapour. Little droplets of water like all over this. Where does the water in the clouds come from, Mummy? Well, originally, Cyril, they come from the sea. Which sea? I don't know, any sea. The North Sea or the West Sea. The water in the sea rises up into the atmosphere. How does it do that then, Mummy? Well, the water in the sea evaporates into the sky. What does evaporate mean, Mummy? Well, when it's really hot, the sun sort of sucks the water up. When I'm in the sea, will the sun suck me up as well, Mummy? Don't be silly, Cyril. Now stop asking me questions. Whatever... What? Whatever will happen to the sea, Mummy? Why? Well, if the sun sucks all the water out of the sea, it will be empty and then we couldn't go on holiday. The sea fills up again, Cyril. How did the seas fill up again, Mummy? Well, the rivers flow into the sea. Where did the rivers come from, Mummy? From the mountains. Well, how did they get there then, Mummy? Well, the rain falls onto the mountains and then it flows down the rivers Mummy? and... Mummy? Hmm? Where does the rain come from, Mummy? Now, did you see it? We saw it! Good! Yes, I know all about the weather. I do, yes. I, I used to know whether or not to take my exams or not, or whether or not to uh, even turn up at school. <laughs> yes. All right, shall we have a question? Oh, yes, very good, yes. The question is, what letter did most of Cyril's questions start with? Was it a B or a W? B or a W? Mm. Mm. Sire, it's as simple as black and white. Mm. B, W. Yes, very good. Ah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, if you think it's B, I want you to shuffle to this side. If you think it's W, I want you to shuffle to this side. <laughs> right, see and saw, man your stations. Jolly good. But wait for my royal command. Not the war. Right. On the right royal raspberry, will you please shuffle? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, right, well that's it then, isn't it? Now, if you thought it was W, write down W. If you thought it was B, write down B. Right, see and saw, off to the spelling gallery. I'm going to consult my book of living letters. <laughs> B or W? What animals begin with B? Hello, my name is Bobby Bell, and this is my big brother, Big Bobby Bell. Give us a smile, Big Bear. <laughs> that big enough for you. Oh. <laughs> uh, will the wasp be on? It's quite thirsty work being a wasp. Oh, that's blown it. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Now, give me that back and clear off. Uh, yeah. I wonder it's broken. Look at it. I don't think it's broken, but it will be if you keep tapping it, Your Majesty. No rubbish. Look, it's been putting it rain. I would have had rotten weather all day. Look. No, sire. Barometers don't control the weather. They just predict it. <laughs> like weather forecasts. And now, a quick look at today's weather for the whole of England. Starting off dry, mostly sunny, with just a chance of one or two showers, particularly in the northwest. Let's take a closer look at the regional weather in more detail. It might turn a little cold, with some chilly winds blowing in across the North Sea, so I don't think shorts are a very good idea today, particularly around Bootle. 
moving ahead to this afternoon. That chance of light rain, which means summer trousers aren't really a very good idea, are they? Hey. If they get wet, which they might, because you're going to be going to buy a sandwich at lunchtime and go and eat it in Stanley Park, and it's almost certainly going to rain there. Light trousers would show the rain, wouldn't they? What? <laughs> And it's this cold front moving in across the Irish Sea that is causing all the problems. Yes, that's good. Your black denims are much better. Are you talking to me? Maybe. As there is the chance of such localised storm conditions, this forecast will only affect one person out there. That's me. <laughs> yes, Kevin, that's you. Blimey, how did you know my... Uh... So pop an extra T-shirt in your sports bag for the five-a-side football later, because temperatures will be dropping very rapidly this evening, with the possibility of snow showers moving in later on. Right. I better take me anorak, then. Yeah, I should wear the blue one. OK. Kevin, what are you doing? Are you coming or what? I'm coming. Uh, just watching the weather forecast. Don't forget some woolly socks, Kevin. I like you. Jenny never takes any interest in what I wear. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> what are you dressed like that for, Kevin? You don't want to pay any attention to those weather forecasts. They're never like it, Come here, it's a lovely day. Do you want to come to the football tonight? Sorry. I've got the seven o'clock weather forecast to do. Forget the football. I'll be back at seven o'clock. OK, ta-da. Now, the weather forecast for Dunstable and for you, Arnold. Now, did you see it? We saw it! Good! I actually went out with a weather girl once. Oh, very unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a question? Oh, let's. Well, here it is. What was the last thing Kevin put on? Was it his anorak? Or his overcoat. If you think it's anorak, write down A. If you think it's overcoat, write down O. An ant here, and I'm an ant. Half oh, an ant here, eh? Hey, watch this. Hey, hey. Oh man. I'm Ollie the Ostrich. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see it, but you should see what's happening down here, man. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, now what are you doing? I'm just following the instructions, your magical moment. Yes. What instructions? Well, it's just a uh, tap it. Et voila! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord High Chamberlain. <laughs> and uh, bon voyage. Ah! Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we're getting used to this barometer, you know. I wouldn't let it rule my life if I were you, Your Majesty. Oh, on the contrary. Give me my diary. I'll show you. Look. It says here. <clears throat> Five o'clock, go and build a snowman. You see? Now, I'd be pretty silly building a snowman in the boiling hot sunshine, wouldn't I? Oh, right. <laughs> I see. I suppose uh, it is useful for telling you what the weather's going to be like. Especially if you're going camping. A Sea It Saw It expedition in Antarctica is now just a few miles from reaching the South Pole. And the acorn known as Oaks, Robin Nest known as Birdie, Paul Cereal known as Porridge are led by Duncan Whiskey known as Scotch. The four intrepid explorers are currently bivouacked in their tent, weathering a fearful blizzard. Five months of heaving our sledges into the biting blizzards across the frozen wastes of Antarctica have taken their toll. We are now down to our last frozen haddock in parsley sauce. <laughs> what? What? We've been travelling the frozen wastes for five months, Scotch! You only flew in yesterday! Anything wrong with that, chaps? You're not much of a leader. That's all, Scotch. Orange? Oaks is right! You haven't been with us at all. Well, I'm here with you now for the difficult bit. The last push to the pole. <laughs> you could have brought in some more provisions, though. Brought this? What? One packet of frozen fish? <clears throat> We're all suffering from cold, starvation and frostbite. Well, you know, you can't go to the South Pole without getting a bit chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from you, Scotch. All this snow and ice is driving me mad. I'm going snow blind. Well, don't worry. Nothing to see but snow. <laughs> and we're nice and cosy in our tent, aren't we? You're <laughs> cosy because you've got a sleeping bag. Moan, moan, moan. I don't know. I, I don't know. You, you call yourself an explorer. Look, look. Yummy, yummy. Haddock for tea. <laughs> How's it coming along, Oaks? 
Correct me if I'm wrong, Scotch, but I don't think we can be expected to cook it if the stove isn't lit. No paraffin, eh? Oh, no, plenty of paraffin. But unfortunately, a certain person used the last box of matches trying to light his pipe in a false nine gale. What? Who was that? Come on, own up. You, you, you Scotch! Who was this, then? Last night, when the rest of us were trying to pitch a tent in a raging blizzard. <laughs> Somebody had told me it was the last box of matches. We did, actually. We shouted. Well, maybe you should have shouted louder. My cosy earmuffs are very thick, you know. Look, don't tell anyone else. But I did bring a secret supply of food here. <gasps> what? what? Just a couple of tins of beans, some yes. powdered Brussels sprouts and a pickled egg. And we'll share them, all right? <laughs> Friends? <laughs> OK? <laughs> oh, no, actually, I forgot. While you were putting up the tent, I ate them all. Sorry. What? Oh. You mean you ate two tins of beans, powdered Brussels sprouts, and a pickled egg? Yes. Oh! <laughs> guffy, guffy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm going. Oh. I may be gone sometime. Oaks? No, don't, Oaks, don't go. Oaks, Oaks! Oh, oh. Funny chap, Oaks. Oh, well. More fool him. He'll miss the pole. Oh! Oh, those beans. Oh! Oh, 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 yuck! Oh, oh you chaps. disgusting! You got too soft, Bunny! Oh, come, come back, chaps! Oh, chaps! Do oh. my video diary! Oh. The terrible weather has taken its toll, and I am alone here. My fellow explorers survived the snow and the ice. It was the wind that did for them in the end. <laughs> oh, I was shivering just watching it! Now, did you see it? Then did you notice this? In which hand was Scotch holding the camera? His left hand or his right hand? Ah, hmm, see? Well, sire, don't forget that's his left hand and right hand, not your left hand and right hand, because that will be opposite because you're facing him. Yes, and... uh, absolute gibberish. That's what I like. Good. See and saw, man the stations. Now, left all right. Okay. Now, when you've uh, when you're quite ready, please. We have got all day, you know. Left or right? Okay. On my command, when I blow the royal raspberry, you will shuffle. Understood? Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> Left or right? Ah. Oh. Can't make your mind up, can you? Now, if you think it was right, right, and R. If you think it was left, right, and L. And something has just struck me. <laughs> there it is again. Lightning's not supposed to strike twice. I'm Ralph, the rattlesnake. Do you want to see my rattle? Pretty scary, huh? Oh, oh, wrong rattle. Ah, that's better. Lord High Chamberlain! Call the Lord High Chamberlain! <laughs> No, mummy. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was dreaming your majestical. Lord High Chamberlain, please, will you give the barometer another tap? Another tap? You wish me to tap the barometer? And yes. Tap. Oh, get on. Oh! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I say, it's working! Isn't that good news? Excellent, sire, that is good news. Isn't it? It could be the most exciting thing I've heard all day. <laughs> Me too! Look! It says, all change! <laughs> and guess what? <gasps> I already have! Oh. What do you think? Oh! Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I was miles away. <laughs> I was on another planet. Docking procedure complete. Opening space airlocks. Come in, welcome to Jeff and Sandra's Space Cafe. I'm Sandra, this is my wife, Jeff. <laughs> Only kidding. What can I do you for? We're a bit lost. Oh, I thought so. No one in their right mind comes here willingly. No, now, now, Sandra, I know we don't get as much passing trade here in deep space as we'd hoped, but we get by. 
Where were you headed for? We're looking for Ganymede. Ganymede? Mm. We're on a space motoring tour of the planets of the solar system. Oh, a tour of the solar system. That sounds great. Mm. I wanted to go to Spain, but my husband said it was too hot. Five minutes in the sunshine and he goes bright red. Yes, well, I don't think we need to bother these people with that, do we, Dorothy? Yeah. Uh, have you been to Venus? Mm. Yes. What was it like? Nice weather. No, not really. It had a temperature of 470 degrees and it was raining sulfuric acid. Mm. Brought him out in spots. So we went to the moon. That was nice. Mm, not much atmosphere. No. Mm, and when he got out of the sunshine, it was quite cold. Mm. He got frostbite. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, did you try Mars? The red planet, they say. That's nice. Yeah, well, we couldn't tell. We got caught in a 200-mile-an-hour sandstorm. He was picking sand out of his string vest for weeks. Mm. You have been unlucky. Mm. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, no, thank you. We sensibly packed our own thermos flask before we set off. Oh, right. Well, Ganymede. Um, now, that's one of the moons of Jupiter, isn't it? Yes, but there's not much point in going to Jupiter itself. On the planet's surface, we'd be crushed by the weight of the atmosphere. And you can't really go swimming in a sea of liquid hydrogen, can you? It blisters his lungs. Mm. Oh, what about Saturn? Too windy. Uh, oh, Neptune. Mm. Too cold. Uranus. Oh, too smelly. Mm. That'll be the methane in the atmosphere. Mm. Pluto. Mm. Too far. Mm. Mercury. Well, it's hard to know what to do with your days there. Yeah. They last 4,224 hours each. Oh, here we are. Ganymede. I don't think you're going to like it, though. The largest of Jupiter's moons, it's rather like a giant muddy snowball. Oh, yes, but they this wonderful holiday centre there. Oh, really? Mm. Yes, it's inside this big dome and it's nice balmy sunshine. Mm. It's not too hot and it's not too cold. What's it called? It's called the Earth Experience. Oh. Well, why don't you just stay on Earth? Ooh, too, too expensive. Hmm, out of this world now, did you see it? We saw it! Good! As usual, I have a question. Which planet is called the Red Planet? Is it Deimos or Mars? Do you think it's Mars? If you do, write down M. If it's Deimos, write down D. Derek the donkey. To get donkeys to do things, you could try the stick or the carrot. The carrot. That'll do. 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 Be do. Do. Ladies and gentlemen, hi, marvel the magnificent mouse with my magnificent mouse tash will now oh! <laughs> Ah Lord High Chamberlain Right Lord High Chamberlain Oh oh, oh Your Majesty Oh I keep having this terrible nightmare I keep dreaming that someone wakes me up every five minutes and asks me to tap a barometer. Tap the barometer! Oh, oh dear, it's a nightmare. Oh, what, your majesticals? Oh, excuse me, I'll, I'll just tap the barometer. Do you want me to give it a little tap, do you? Yes, just a little tap, please. Right, there we are. Oh, <laughs> just one more little puff. <laughs> I've now what have you done? I've tapped it for you. You've got a, you've got and broken it. How am I supposed to read the weather now? Oh. I've got to forecast the weather. Oh. Oh. What am I going to do? You'll just have to enjoy it as it happens, sire. What do you mean? Oh, look, sire. The sun's coming out. What? Oh, fantastic. Look, I can see a rainbow. <gasps> Tell you what, I'm going for a stroll and sort out this week's letters. Now, let's take a look. Was the first letter B or W? Was the second letter A or O? Was the third letter L or R? And was the fourth letter D or M? Well, I shall tell you next week. But until then, do tell your friends you saw it! Oh, look, see. You never finished reading Uncle Neville's note. It's not just a boring old barometer for telling you what the weather's going to be like. Please don't break it. Otherwise, the weather will go mad.
if you would like to enter the See It Saw It competition. <laughs>